What's up YouTube, welcome to the third Histocom gameplay trailer. So today we are going to start a new game, and I'm going to introduce you to some of the storyline. So as you know this game starts off, you're using Windows 95, and it is 1998, as you can see by Google's copyright notice. So what you want to do is you want to just go to Google and Google search. You can type in your browser www.alpha.google.com and just press go. Then what you want to do, you want to just type in something random. It can be anything. It can be, um, uh, let me win this game. Okay, you can type anything, literally, it doesn't matter. And then you just want to click Google search. Upon clicking Google search, you have entered www.com. Now this is a very interesting site. Warning, you have entered a secret site which was not meant to be accessed. Warning, do not twirl, twirl 12 patterns about this website. 12 patterns is evil. 12 patterns is holding secrets which need to be found out. I myself am banned from 12patterns.com. I almost found out the secret. I don't know what the secret is, but it seems that 12 Patterns is hiding an additional piece of software on his site. The software is hidden, but it can still be accessed. The software is very powerful, and is not a game, virus, or anything like that. I don't know what it is, but I do know it's powerful. You need to access this. I was scanning the code on the 12 Patterns website, and that's how I know about it. Someone needs to find this software and use it. I don't know how to access it from the 12 Patterns site. But all I know is that you have to click on something. It is a thing you would least expect to click. This site will be destroyed by 12 patterns very soon, and you need to find the secret before he removes it from his website. Find it. Just click everywhere on the 12 patterns website till you find the secret. Written by the Hidden Hacker. So yes, a new character introduced, the Hidden Hacker. We don't know about him yet, because he's a hacker and he's hidden. So let's go to the 12 patterns website and take his advice. Okay, what could possibly be something that we don't know how to click? What's something I don't expect to click? Well, all these things are things you would expect to click. However, something you wouldn't expect to click is this. Copyright 1998 12 patterns. Seriously, who clicks a copyright logo? I do. Anyway, we have now entered the 12patterns.com data log. So first of all, we can see in 1996, the website was created. In 1997, lots of software was added to it. Uh, in 1998, uh, hash, 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 I don't know what that means. So, warning, 1998 log file is encrypted and unreadable. The rest of the log file is stored on a Hotmail account. Username, 12 patterns at hotmail.com. Password, project death. Well... Looks like we're going to make our way to hotmail.com. In case you're wondering, that is not a real email address. Okay, hotmail.com. This is 1998 Hotmail. Might just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, here we go. So the password was, oh well, the username 12 patterns at hotmail.com. And the password was project death. Okay, let's enter. Aha, uh -huh, here's some Hotmail. Uh, let's see. What's the secret to your website? So, ah, this is from the hidden hacker at Hotmail.com to 12 patterns. What is the secret to your website? Hey, 12 patterns, I was scanning your website and I found something, well, I don't know. Do you have some type of hidden software on it? Because I can't fi find to find. I think he meant can't seem to find. Obviously, that's a typo the matching software that has the same code as I saw. What's the hidden software? Well, let's see. He replied, Hey, how dare you ask me about that? I'm blocking your IP right now from my website. And for the record, don't waste your time. There's nothing hidden on my website. <laughs> Pretty sure I just found that there was a hidden data log. Anyway, let's see. 12 patterns.com data log 1998 from the 12 patterns bot to 12 patterns. Okay, 1998. Added time distortion software to 12 patterns website. 
software was hidden and only accessible after downloading hwcv.execute and applying it to the 12 Patterns website. Time distortion software is in extremely early stages and dangerous. Any download of the time distortion software results in an instant alert to 12 Patterns. Ooh, might download it. Okay. We are downloading hwcv.execute and we are required to apply it to the 12 Patterns website. So let's go to 12patterns.com, apply it, uh, let's install it. Unlock the secrets of the web, hidden website content viewer. Okay, this, project, uh, this program is a hacking tool which is available to view hidden web content on websites. To view the hidden content, just type the name of the website in the box below and this will enable you to see the hidden features on a website. This only work displays hidden content which cannot be accessed in any way without this software. Wow, okay. www.12patterns.com Let's Get hack the mom. site. Okay, now that we've hacked the site, we can see Time Distorter 0 0.1 has just appeared out of nowhere. So let's download it. And apparently it's a game. So, ah, uh, game slash software. That's, that's the little trick there. Game slash software. That's it's telling the truth, it sure is software. Time distorting software. Wait. Ah, oh, I can't click back. Okay. Should have checked out that license agreement. Looks pretty insidious, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's close this hidden website stuff and finish. And let's open our installed Time Distorter program. So, Time Distorter, current year 1998. Destination year 1999. So it only goes, it's a one way trip in other words. So let's click go to destination time. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it's charging up. Pretty basic interface for such an advanced piece of software. Okay. Preparing to travel. ETAF. ETA, meaning estimated time average, is um, 172 seconds. Uh oh. I command prompt. Hackers, hackers, hackers. 12 Patterns is connected. What do you think you're doing? You first hack my emails. Then you read them all. And you download an attachment. And then use it to hack my website and download my secret time travel software. Oh, and I know you pressed it. I can see your screen right now. To prove that I can see it, look at the timer. It says 130 seconds left. Now in two minutes, you think you're going to be out of travel to 1999. Well, I'm sorry, I just can't let you do that. You see, I have a lot of power of, over your computer. Okay, let me show you how easy this is. Hide start button. And it's gone. See how easy that was? Now watch this. Crap, that is pretty scary. <laughs> having a few errors, are we? Actually, no, I'm not having errors. My background just has a few X's on it. And now the hidden hacker is connected. Great, you found the software. How dare you invade? Uh, don't worry. Uh, sorry, I don't know your name. But to the person who owns this computer, good job for getting this software. Didn't you just tell me that? <laughs> The hidden hacker. I thought my first lesson was enough to get you away. Well, now that I know, uh, now that I've uncovered your secret, I'm not just going to go away. Get out now, or I'll make you get out. Hey, person who owns this computer, don't worry. You're about to get away from all this. Hey, here's your start button back. Show start button. Hey. Well, I'm almost out. Okay, now you've done it. Stop timer. Oh crud, I thought I was about to escape. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Oh, but I did. 
I converted the stop function to the hide function when I first logged on. <laughs> That's impossible. Oh, is it? Well, watch this. Show timer. We are gonna travel through time, guys. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Good luck, Windows 95 user. I'll see you in the future. Warning, I should have warned you. Do not look if you have epilepsy. You are gonna have an absolute um, epileptic attack. Okay, Time Distorter has now taken over my computer. I'm here, an operating system booting up. We have now entered the future. We are using Windows 98. Using Internet Explorer 5. There's 12patterns.com. It is 1999. We're thinking about now the Y2K, and we've got history of computers, new versions of a lot of products. Um, www.google.com has also been updated. So as you can see, we are now Google, Google, Google Beta. So right now it really is 1999 and this, in case you're wondering, is what Google looked like in 1999. Now just so you know there are a few things that you might want to know. Things have been updated so if you do update these things they are updated, they are improved. You can look at these articles and find out about the Y2K. You can view the new backgrounds such as... Um, this Windows 98 background, which you can set for your computer, looks a lot nicer than the default background. Um, or you could set this space picture, and in case you're wondering, this space picture here is actually from 1999, so we can set that as your background if you want. Um, things you will want to do at this point in the game, you have just time travelled, meaning you now can save your game, just click the time, and you'll get an error telling you that your save code. Okay, and one thing I should have told you a long time ago, you can click start, and you can click shut down, and the game will quit. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.